hello friends welcome to another GIMP tutorial so today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a dodge and burn uh, tool here in GIMP um, and why exactly you need to use that particular tool for enhancing your um, pictures so first of all um, to activate the uh, dodge and burn tool you simply can press shift and D on Mac so that um, the tool will be activated alternatively you can find it here by default um, if you don't see this tool here you can go to the tools menu here and from there paint tools and from there you will find it here uh, um, uh, dodge and burn uh, in the bottom so by selecting dodge and burn you can activate it right and then when you activate it you it's just another uh, paint uh, brush tool uh, you can adjust the brush size the spec ratio angle spacing hardness force according to your um, preference yeah, and then uh, here you can adjust um, the other thing like dynamic dynamic option you can adjust the fade length uh, if you want otherwise you just can go with a default setting and then you can uh, the, the uh, select the repeat option of uh, triang triangular wave and um, other options you have here so, so I would rather say go with uh, so to wave that's better uh, and then uh, here you can uh, definitely um, adjust this as well range uh, by default you would find it um, as mid-tone is selected so your bar, and, dodge and burn um, would affect the mid-tone mostly however you can just select uh, shadows and highlights if you want to modify uh, shadows and highlights particularly so that is about the uh, adjustment option here uh, and then as you can see I already have um, imported an image um, and uh, it is noticeable that this image is quite dark uh, around here uh, and it's brighter uh, in the background so this is probably an ideal image to um, apply dodge and burn um, so that um, we can fix it um, so when we exactly use dodge and burn tool well um, the dodge thing is it's actually brightened when you brush it's actually brightened the darker area and uh, burn actually it's it's actually dark in the uh, brighter area uh, as we brush so that is it um, very simple uh, but it's quite effective for some of the images um, let's jump into it and see how well we can make this image a little better right so um, now I am duplicating this image to do that just go to image and then duplicate or you can press command and D and then um, as we have already uh, activated dodge and burn tool so first I'm going to um, brighten this area so I don't need to do anything I just brush over here It might take some time to um, process if you brush too much um, as you can see it has been brightened up a bit um, however you can adjust the brush size like I said before according to your preference hardness and force um, Right. 
you also can adjust the exposure below here now it's 50% you can adjust this according to your preference and um, now I'm going to um, darken this area a bit in the background to do that you have to now uh, command you have to press command and then you have to brush to darken the areas Right, so now um, to further enhance this uh, picture, um, although this tutorial, tutorial is not about showing other tools, but just to make it a little better now, maybe we can adjust the shadows and highlights of this image too. Further enhance. And then we can adjust the contrast a bit as we brighten up the image so that it gives a better look. Right. So now let's compare this image. So this is um, the original image. This is after using Dawson Brown tool. So I think the Dawson Brown tool has worked pretty well for this particular image. Uh, so you got to be a little careful when you use this tool um, because it has to go with the need of the image. So uh, I don't recommend that you use Dodge and Burn for every every image because there are other tools which might be uh, good for um, using for further enhancement of the image. So that's it very much. So friends, this is how you can use Dodge and Burn tool and GIMP. And I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.